Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. I'm really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. Well, anyhow, a couple days ago, I had a, a viewer leave a comment here on YouTube. And they ask, I have had trouble with rabbits getting my cantaloupe plants. Do you have rabbit problems? Well, if you've watched my videos, you know, you can see I live in, I have 10 acres here in in Pennsylvania and so yeah I have plenty of rabbits and so let me just show you or share with you some tips and ideas on how I prevent these rabbits from chewing on my plants so thanks for joining me today So anyhow, yeah, out in my garden I have a lot of little transplants that the rabbits would just love to munch on. You know, same with the deer. And and so uh, the key is not allowing them or preventing them from getting to your plants in the first place. So let's just walk around the garden and I'll show you some of the things that I do to prevent them from getting to those tiny little plants. Once they get mature, I don't mind if they, you know, want to gnaw on a few leaves or something. That's fine uh, and so let's just I'll take a walk through and show you what I do here so over here alongside my house in my one flower garden I use this space to to plant some seedlings these were seedlings or transplants from my Swiss chard that I thinned out and planted along this edge and so I have rabbits that would come in here and eat these plants so all I simply did was took a 12 inch wide section of chicken wire and made these little cages that I put around these plants until they get mature. And so this is one thing that I do with my plants to keep those rabbits off of them. So let's go take a look at some other things that I do with the cantaloupe. Now on my way over to the cantaloupe bear I decided to stop here and show you this too. You know this is a row cover or agribond or or a fleece. Now I have these on a, on a, on poles here creating a low tunnel hoop house, but you can actually take this cloth and lay it right over your plants as they grow and mature. And so that's another way you could also keep the the uh, these critters off of your plants is just by laying them over your plants and as they grow and mature, you know, th these will just lift up with your plants. They also allow all the rain and and air to pass through. So so anyhow, let's go take a walk over where I'm going to be growing some cantaloupes. So over here in this one section is where I grow my cantaloupes and my melons. And I'm going to be buying some of those transplants next week. I also did direct sow some of your melons and different squashes. Now for instance, right here I have some butternut squash that I direct sowed in the garden a while back. And what I'm going to be doing while these plants are young to keep the rabbits off my plants or the deer is I use these wire sections that I have. They're cut offs from wire fencing. They have a two by inch by three inch opening. And you know, you can simply just lay those over your plants if you want to keep the rabbits off of your cantaloupe plants. And so yeah, this uh, technique has really worked well for me all these years. And once the plants, you know, really grow and reach maturity, then I, I take these off. And so let's just go take a look at those raised containers over there. So over here I have a few raised garden containers. And uh, I have some kale in the one and some red Russian kale in the other, two different varieties. And I have a, a wire fence section curled up over these just to keep any animals off. I'm going to re be removing that soon once they just get a little bit larger. And so uh, let's just go over and I'll t show you this one tree over here that I also what I do to protect it. So let's take a walk over here. I have a, a hibiscus bush that I planted here. 
again it's just another circle of wire fencing that I put around here to keep the deer off and even rabbits if I were to get rabbits and again I'll even as this that gets bigger maybe I'll replace it with a a larger fence you know maybe one that's about four foot in diameter in order to keep the deer off it as it grows and matures and I'm back here over in this other garden here you know I also use these empty salad containers as a mini greenhouse you know if your cantaloupe plants are real tiny or any plant for that matter these also will protect your plants from rabbits while they're really at a young stage I'm back over here at my other garden here where my row cover is and you know the row cover also is great not only to keep the pests off it but you know the deer and the, the rabbits and and that also my plants just thrive under there and so uh, so anyhow the, that's basically what I do to keep the rabbits off my my uh, garden plants so anyhow I want to thank you for joining me out here in the garden today and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions about this video and maybe your experiences with keeping rabbits off your plants feel free to leave them in the section below your own experiences so until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.